we're back on the scrambler and it's time to do the walk around and I'd like to go up to Bigner Hill now I've just come up this way from uh, where I live on the coast and I've not traveled many miles and I've found snow so <laughs> we had a bit of snow down on the coast but not much and it disappeared fairly quickly um, but yeah coming a little bit to the north and I'm not talking many miles at all uh, there is snow about in fact you might be in fact yeah you, you, well, you probably won't be able to see it on the camera but there's a big hill right in front of us and there's snow up the top of it and I'm just thinking the place I'm going to is kind of up at that level so I might actually have some snow to contend with hmm god I don't want to ride through the puddles and get my bike dirty it's all nice and clean at the minute <laughs> don't do a dirty walk around that could mean something totally different, couldn't it? <laughs> well, looks like I'm going to get dirty anyway. If I remember rightly, this is mostly gravel. And of course I'm riding into the sun, so I can't see anything. <laughs> yeah, it's taking it nice and easy. I don't want to have another off after uh, putting all that work in, getting this back up and running. Snow confirmed. Sorry? I see. Oh, is it? Yeah, you're going uh, just down the next bed. Oh, is it? Alright, I'll probably turn around then. Uh, my mate was walking just down the yard. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Alright. <laughs> right, he says it's icy up there, so let's go for it. I mean, um, let's go and turn around. We're going to turn around. It's also really busy around here. Oh, don't crash into me. <laughs> See how he does. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't happening, is it? Okay, we need a, a plan B. Oh, I'm too short for this sort of behaviour. Okay, let's, let's find somewhere else that's A, flatter, and <laughs> B, not covered in ice. Yeah, I'm not going to risk it. Why is it really busy up here? I thought this was like a really quiet place to go to. Yeah, it gets very steep up there and if it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be icy as well, it's just not... It's not worth the trouble. It's not worth risking. Right, so that bit failed. Um, I don't know where to go. Duck, jump. Oh, it's an obstacle course down here. So I think this is going to be one of the uh, dirtiest walk-arounds ever. So here's what we've done. <laughs> so first of all, because one of the pillion pegs was damaged, I opted to just remove them and then uh, fill the holes in with these uh, Union Flag pillion peg blanking plugs, which uh, are from Square Deals. I'll put links to uh, all these bits in the description. Uh, so there, yeah, that was uh, one of the first little things. Uh, and then, I think the main uh, the main difference is this uh, high level mud guard, which, <laughs> as you can see, doesn't do much against guarding from mud because the whole front of the bike is covered in crap. Which I knew was um, I knew would happen anyway because I have read others that have done this, and uh, yeah, they do say yeah you can raise the front mud guard, but be prepared to be cleaning it all the time because. Yeah, look at all this dirt, it's just everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's done with the uh, Motone high, high mount uh, front fender bracket. Triumph headlamp grille, that is an official Triumph part, I've not cheaped out there. Although I did, because I got it for half the price of what it normally is, so 
<laughs> that was a bit of luck on eBay. Uh, these are the new mirrors, which are just, uh, yeah, nicely styled. They suit the bike a lot better than uh, them other ones that I've put on. So yeah, they're all good. Uh, and we now have a folding, a folding gear shifter, off-road styly. That again was from Square Deals. Uh, so yeah, if it happens again, uh, hopefully that should sort of fold in and there shouldn't be so much damage done there. So there we go. Look at it, it's filthy, isn't it? <laughs> oh, there is one more thing, and I don't know how well it'll come out on the video. A yellow headlamp bulb, which is road legal. I did check. A headlight bulb in the UK has to be white or yellow. Most of them these days are white, so you, yeah, you don't really see a lot of them. But yeah, I've gone for the yellow for that sort of retro -y look. Okay, so after doing this walk around, I realised there was a couple of things that I forgot to mention. So the next day, I cleaned the bike and did another walk around, but the audio didn't record on the camera, so I'm going to have to voice this over. So uh, a couple of things to mention. So firstly, the clutch cover has still got some light scratches left on it from the slide. Uh, the worst of the scuffs I have touched up with some black high temperature paint, and it doesn't look too bad now, actually. It's not so noticeable, especially when the bike's covered in dirt. Um... But uh, as for the light scratches, I'm not too bothered about that. That They can sort of stay for now as battle scars. I might get a replacement clutch, clutch cover eventually. Uh, I don't know yet. For now, it's okay. But a replacement clutch cover costs about £300. So it's not really worth it for something that may happen again. Um, yeah, for now, I'm going to leave that. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Another thing I wanted to mention, as well as the mirrors... Captain Rambunctious sent me some replacement indicator lenses from his old Thruxton, which has mostly the same parts. So luckily he had a spare, if well, he had a spare whole rear end for his uh, Thruxton after he had a tail tidy put on. So yeah, the indicator lenses came in useful for fixing my ones. This clutch lever is just a basic replacement one from Wii Moto. I was going to get some nice short levers to put on it, but I couldn't really afford it at the time. Can't really afford it right now. So that's going to be a future purchase not too long from now, hopefully. I can get some nice short levers put on there. I think that was everything I needed to add. So that is my scrambler back up and running on the road again. I'm pleased with how it's looking. Now all we need is the better weather. I'm looking forward to summer and having more fun on this excellent machine. So thank you all for watching. Ride safe. I'll see you soon.